right? Okay, so that is that is kind of the second simplest program in the world. Now let's go for something much, much more complex. And this is kind of what you should be able to do at the end of the of the term. I'm going to do this just now and, and I probably will have to do uh, or will introduce lots of errors. But this is how we're going to see programming in uh, a much more reflected or hopefully much more reflective way. So let's start our, um, our name again. In this case, we're not going to write the simplest program in the world, but we're going to do the birthday paradox. Birthday paradox. Um, and the birthday paradox, does anyone know this already? Who knows the birthday paradox? Some people are saying something, I can't hear it. Um, but the birthday paradox says, what is the probability? Let's start a new line here. Probability that two people have the same birthday. Um, right, so that, that is actually what we could start now. Now, if you program, you'll have to start first with thinking. Because you have a problem at hand, at hand, we're going to calculate this probability, uh, but we first have to see how we could do this. And in essence, this is a statistics question, right? Um, and I'm not entirely sure how far you all are in statistics, but um, we first need to brainstorm a little bit on what we should do. And that's you should do also in the code. You should write as much as you can uh, the way you solve things in the, in the comments. Now, as you see, there are two types of comments. One comment is where you have multiple lines. There you start with slash uh, star and end with star slash. Or if it's just a single line, you just do slash slash. Um, and now I'm going to brainstorm. So I say the, the probability um, uh, of having the same, not me, same birthday uh, or I'm going to use some shortcut here uh, be same is equal to 1 minus oops, 1 minus the probability of uh, not same and that will I think make it a lot easier so the, the probability of two people having the same birthday is 1 minus the probability that they don't have the same birthday. That kind of rings a bell or, uh, or, or sounds okay? Let's hope it is okay. Let's see. So, and the, the probability of uh, not same is, uh, is in this case, what is the, the probability that two people don't have the same birthday, meaning day in the year that they, have, that they were born on, right? So how many days in the week and the year are there? 365, right? Uh, and the, the probability that two people don't have the same is the probability that one has a birthday and the other one is having a different birthday, right? And this different birthday, the, the probability of, of having a birthday in the year is one, right? It's 365 divided by 365. Um, and you can multiply this, this is normally statistics, so if you have then two people and the second person needs to have a birthday on a different uh, uh, date, then you have 365 minus 1 divided by 365, right? Basically the, birth, the, the, the probability that two people don't have the same birthday. Right, now we're going to make this a little bit more interesting because um, we already have the answer, and it's not you know that important in this case. But in a group of n people, we would like to know exactly this as well. So if you have, I would estimate there are about 70, 80 people here. Um, in this room, what is the probability that two of you have the same birthday? Is this high or not, what you think? We will see. Hopefully, I mean, if this is contained. So basically, the probability of the same birthday is this. Now, for um, for a group of people, 
you have to do you have to multiply this the entire time oops so you multiply this width and you do exactly the same so if you have three people then we already have this for the probability that these two people have a different birthday you take the third people to that what is the probability that this third pe per well, this third person does have a different birthday 365 minus 2 divided by 365 right and and it goes on like this so if i take um, a fourth person or a fifth person or a sixth person you continue like this so and this is now very important which we do all the time in creating algorithms for a group of n people where do you stop in this case minus n minus one exactly n minus, whoops, not 2, but 1, divided by 365, right? So this is basically our formula. Um, and that means that we need to now solve this into programming codes. What you usually do is you encapsulate this in a function. And in this case, our function needs to give us a probability. A probability, we will see later, is not an integer, like this 30 that we were given by main to the that was given by our uh, executable to the operating system we'll have to mark unset we'll have to give it a float this means a floating point number why this is important we'll see later but it's basically a floating point number that will be returned by our function and now we can give a function a name usually a function should not be extremely long but you should know what a function name does so I'll I'm not sure if this is the best I name, but let's call it B day, probability B day. Um, we'll just say um, function that function. I'm having a bad typing day today. But this is because it's still early. Function that returns the probability <coughs> that in a group. Um, of n people um, um, at least to have the same birth birthday right that is that is basically what we're going to have now we can pass this function an argument and make this function already very flexible so we can pass this an integer of n and at the end, as, as we said, we need to give it a return value of a particular float value, a floating point value, that gives <laughs> us this probability. We will give it p in this case, I would say. Normally this is bad, because p is very random. It doesn't really say what this uh, value means. But I think this will, in this case, since it's a very simple program, uh, be sufficient. And it will be also a floating point, right? So we have a floating point. This is called we instantiate a variable so we basically we create a variable in our program called p and this is of type floating point so it's something like 3.1415 like this is pi but that's this is p uh, and we can assign it a value for instance 1.0 in a probability this is like total likelihood source. so basically uh, the chance is very high in this case or, or or the maximum and now we need to complete this over here this uh, p is not same. And this is uh, what we call later uh, a loop. So we need to loop over a particular variable, which in this case you can see is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on until n minus 1. And the way you will see later in a few weeks, <coughs> you will do this in C++, is with a for loop. <coughs> you have an integer of i, which starts at 0. i will be smaller than... N, exactly, thank you. I've, uh, I've typed check checker C, this is really great. And I, inc uh, I increases at every loop with one. This is plus I++, plus plus. this is also the reason why C++ plus plus is called C++. Plus plus. There used to be C already, and one more than C is C++ plus plus in C++, plus plus, or also in C. Therefore, I++ plus plus means the value of I is increased by one, or incremented. <coughs> right. And in this loop, what we're going to do is we're going to increase p by a certain, or we're going to multiply p uh, um, iteratively. So we start with p is 1, that's a total probability, and then we multiply this by this factor over here. So we multiply 
multiplying is this. I already showed this in the comments, but you know we'll see that multiplying is this star thing. Um, and we multiply by, and then I will do exactly what is written here. So we have 365 minus i, because that's what, where we iterate over, and we divide this by 365. Is that it already? Yes, it's that simple. No, it's not that simple, because what we said is we want the probability of having the same birthday. And this is 1 minus p, not the same. So we now calculated the probability that these two or these two or the two people in a group of n don't have the same birthday, but we want them to have the same birthday. So we do n, uh, 1 minus p. Okay? <clears throat> um, return. Um, I'll just show, do 1 minus p not, whoops, not same. I mean, with, with this um, reasoning, it should, be, it should be clear what we did. This, I think, I can also, let's just put this over here. Hop. Normally, you also say what it returns, but that's what I already did in the description. So now this function is completely ready. Um, and now, I basically can first ask, for instance, in a group of n. Uh, the way you do that is exactly the other way. So basically, have here standard input, we uh, output something. So in that case, we input something, and with streaming, you basically go in the other direction. Um, so from the inputs, we get a value. Also, this value needs to be somehow a variable. We call that here int n. Let's give it uh, a trivial name for initialization. Um, oh, actually, let's print something first. So, std, see out. What is n? Question mark. Um, and then I have my question, or then I, I get my value n over here. So this way I will get um, whatever I type into my program as a variable of type integer, and this is put into n, into the, into the name n. And then I have to just use my function, um, and I have to write something. So the probability of... Well, I'll just keep it short, is, and then I can, and this is the thing what, what you have with streaming, you basically have something, uh, an error. Sorry? 20, yes. P equal to P times whatever you have. Oh, here? In equal to, in, I mean, in, in two, I mean, there will be the multiplication. Yes. The probability, but there is no multiplication. We're just keeping the value. Just, uh, just uh, I don't get it. Is this a problem or not? I mean, does anyone else see? No? So basically, you take the value of P, and you multiply it with what you had before. So we, we start with P is 1. Then you multiply it with this, then you multiply it with this, and so on until you multiply it with this, and then you're done. So this here is kind of exactly the same as this here. Right? I mean, I can also save the comments, so this calculates P not same. I see there is lots of discussion. We'll see whether it works later or not. By the way, has anyone noticed what I have not been doing? Exactly, I've not been, tr I've not been trying out whether my code works yet. What I can guarantee is that it probably won't work this, the, first, uh, the first time. Um, however, I am thinking. And, and the thinking part is really important. So we'll see. Okay, we'll see if it works or not, and then you can tell me what 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 uh, what what's worked or what doesn't work. So, what I what do I have to return over here? Exactly, prop 
b day of n, right? And then to make sure that we have this new line at the end so that it doesn't um, start asking at the same line again, we can basically do exactly, I'll, I'll just do it like this. Oops, like this. <coughs> now, also, well, we can still return this 30. Now, will this work? No? <laughs> do you know why it won't work? Sorry? Calling the function is wrong. I see there are lots of Java programmers in the, in the room. Um, so, so far, I, have, I haven't heard anything that is convincing me, but I'm, I'm, oh, I have an open mind. We'll see, okay? So, we'll save it. And let's see if it compiles. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm very surprised that it compiles, to be honest. Now, the question is, will it work? <laughs> so, let's see. So, hi, what is n? How many people do we have? 10, 20, 30, 40. I would say we even have more than 80, I would say. So, is the probability of 80 people bigger than, than or is it, is it, uh, well, where is it? It's bigger than 90%, do you think? No? 80%? Shall we see? So, we have 80 people, whoops, 80 people. Ooh. Now, is the code wrong or not? <laughs> is that the next question? I can tell you the code is right. So basically, this is indeed the right answer. And this is why it's called the birthday paradox. It is not very intuitive, but even a smaller group of people um, has, a, I mean, I would say even 70 people have 90%. Or whatever, whatever it was, 60 people. Oh, there you start having a bigger drop, but it's still 99%. So the likelihood that two of you here have exactly the same birthday is extremely high. 